welcome to my video tutorial on the ball corner. This is a, an exercise which really tests your alias skills and one of the reasons for that is because you're asking uh, a surface such as a square surface to uh, create a curved form through an arc of 90 degrees in all three uh, word space axes. Uh, so you're asking an awful lot of one surface. Nevertheless, it can be done. Uh, let's have a look then at um, some of the problems that can defeat you and how to put them right. The first thing I would do if uh, I were modeling something like this, you know, it could be the front corner of a car, although it'd be a little bit more complex than this, but the principle could be the same. Or it could be the corner of a mobile telephone or whatever. Now, let's uh, have a look. These are uh, freeform fillets, and they could equally be surface fillets. So let's uh, examine them. So first of all, I need the uh, curvature cone, and I'm going to pick on that one. And you know, I think that's a very nice, very nice shape. So I'm I'm happy with that. Let's get rid of that one and have a look at uh, this one. Okay, let's have a look. What can we see? Well, straight away. Um, get it into a good position for you. There. Straight away, I can see that it's not a true arc, so it's flat, you know, because it's dipping down here, uh, which means it's flattening out at that point there, and there. So it's flattening out at both ends. So let's turn on its CVs. Okay, let's go down here and get the Move CV tool and we'll set it to hull mode and we're going to move it in XYZ so I'm going to pick this hull here and that one and now I'm going to move them vertically and we have to go into I think F6 now so I've pulled these two CV hulls in order to get this beautiful curvature here which is typical of uh, a true arc and that's what we would expect as it's uh, G2 we'd expect it to this red line to meet these you know the straight surface that we're going to join it to we're going to F6 and let's take a quick look at this curve on surface that I've been given put a comb on it Yeah, not very good, is it? We won't do anything about it yet. We'll just accept it and we'll build a square to it and see what happens. Let's get the square tool. We'll set it up for tangency on all sides except here. No, we'll, we'll have tangents. We'll go for a tangency everywhere. Explicit control is 5511. And our collinear options we want uh, collinear, no collinear, collinear. So that's good. So it's going to be collinear, uh, no collinear, and collinear. Obviously, the reason uh, we're asking for collinear is because we have uh, degree 5 uh, hulls here and we can line, align our second CV, our tangency CV, to those hulls on three surfaces, but not on this surface. Right, now what's happened here? We've got a small gap, 0 0.04 there, and we've got some sort of gap thing going on here, so we better get in there and find out what that is. Okay, what I'm going to do is delete the surface 
and you can see the curve on surface uh, it stops short so let's well we know it's not a very good curve on surface so let's do it now let's change the curve on surface so let's delete it and we'll replace it okay let's take a degree 5 curve And we're going to project that curve onto the flat surface. Now let's just have a look at the curve on surface. Slide that CV up there a little bit. Not too don't go, don't go too mad. A little bit there. Okay delete the curve, we don't need it anymore. Now we're going to build another square and see what happens. F8 It's rather nice isn't it? Going to F6 Right, ready to address this problem now move CV um, we set it to point zero zero five for the moment right move to two CVs, whoops, did nothing, move two CVs at a time put the step size on, it wasn't on Now I'm going to, I've come down here, I've changed the step size to 0 0.0001, in other words, uh, one ten thousandth of a millimetre. And it doesn't display as such, it displays just as zero. But in fact, actually, that's what it is, it's a ten thousandth. And I'm going to attempt now to... Uh, resolve this problem. There we are. Tangency. Save your work quickly. Let's go into F8. So we'll turn off the locators, turn off the controls and let's have a look at it with uh, some zebra shading on. Now when I use zebra shading first of all you have to know how to set it up so it needs to be accurate, tolerance needs to be on full whack you see what happened there and it's showing us we have really beautiful G2 curvature There we are, nothing wrong with that. But I don't uh, use it all the time and I don't use it for everything, zebra shading. Um, what I tend to prefer is the ISO shader because it's going to give you a realistic uh, impression of what the uh, vehicle, if it's a vehicle you're working on, is going to look like. Put some blur on it, you know, because uh, in real life highlights are not hard edged, they're, 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 they have soft edges. And we can turn the um, opaqueness up to full on now. And we'll do away with the model just for a second. 
and you can see that we have a really nice ball corner okay and let's trim out that last bit of surface that's sort of obstructing us from viewing properly now this uh, blue here incidentally tells me straight away that we need to go to surface edit and reorientate that okay we reorientate the surface normals on that and we're going to pick evaluate and which I mean you know this gives us an indication of what our uh, surface flow is and it's, it's not bad is it and this you know shows you the real kind of quality of the surfaces and where the problems are if you were going to try to you know model even more accurately use that and use a bit of transparency like so and it gives you uh, it's easier to read okay you can see that it's all nice and even you know if there was something wrong here you'd see you'd see it in the flow of these uh, you know rainbow colors I want to look at it also with shade sky on and for that we don't want transparency that is it that is a nice example of a ball corner now if I just show you before I go, I'll show you a few things that can go wrong and how to fix them. Now, sometimes when you have uh, a problem and you're freehand modeling, you know, you can't always use uh, the align tool and you can't always use the um, system. You know, when I say system, I mean you can't use the square tool itself to control the surface you're building. You do have to model it by hand or, or directly. So let's just 